In this video, we are going to study about the spillway, the next step module of the Water Resource Engineering 2. Previously, we have studied, we have focused the two main major hydraulic structures that is used for storing the water, that is a dam. One is made up of with the rigid material that is concrete and the another one is made up of with the earthen material that can be considered as a non-rigid material. Mm -hmm. So what are the forces that are acting on such hydraulic structures? By application of these forces, what exactly the uh, failure will be occur in that particular hydraulic structure that we have seen? And for giving a particular stability, uh, generally for the both the cases, for the both the dam, we have studied various methods, we have studied the various uh, equations. Now, let's focus on the spillway, one of the hydraulic structure, but it is an overflow section. The previous, that two part that will be considered under the non-overflow hydraulic structure. Why? Because uh, in that particular case, we are just storing the water on the upstream side. We are not allowing this water to flow on the uh, downstream side. Because uh, uh, generally the major purpose of this construction is to store and to divert the water wherever and whenever it is needed. Now the spillway. Spillway. It is the name itself gives us the idea that spill to flow over spill yani you, that is you are allowing this water to flow on the further direction further section and way the particular medium particular path that you are giving to that particular fluid that the uh, water is hence it is called as a spillway it is categorized under the overflow section so generally this is a overflow portion of the dam it is basically constructed in between the body of the dam or it can be located at the sides at the side section at the side topography of the given particular dam so let's see it is the overflow portion of a dam over which surplus discharge flows from the reservoir to the downstream section means what once the rainfall during the heavy rainfall once the water level is uh, uh, starting to increase, that increased level, if this is your dam, if this is your dam, and if you are locating and if you are attaching, constructing that spillway part along with this hydraulic uh, structure, along with this dam, uh, then this uh, once this water will get increased because of the heavy rainfall and the flood situation may occur, so in that particular case, this water will be carried out above this overflow section that is called as a spillway. So it is generally used for, they generally constructed for extracting and discharging the surplus amount of the water from reservoir to the downstream section. So uh, again, it is uh, also called as a surplusing water. Why? Because, see, we know that once the water is at a stable condition, it possesses the potential energy. It is at a stable condition, rest position. Once it gets, and once, once the velocity will increase, that increased velocity has a tendency and has gained the kinetic energy in a tremendous manner. So what happened? Once this flow, the, this discharge, this water will start to discharge on the downstream section, that water possesses the tremendous kinetic energy. And because of this kinetic energy, if we are not dissipating, if we are not reducing such an energy, this energy definitely affects the downstream portion of the dam as well as downstream portion of the spillway. So because of this, because of this, your structure may get felt without giving any short notice or without giving any intimation. So we have to check, we have to give the proper solution, proper uh, major preventing measures to stop and to avoid such a failures. So this is uh, uh, one of the solution. 
this pillwe is one of the solution this is also called as the surplusing a uh, work because in by applying by providing such type of a structure we are uh, dissipating that energy which can be carried out by the flood and by the surplus water and uh, this energy can be dissipated at a particular uh, point by providing a hydraulic jump by creating a hydraulic jump at certain distance at certain point and this flow will get safely carried out towards the natural resources so this is also called as a surplusing water now this spillways are provided uh, for all the storage and detention dams generally uh, this spillways are constructed along with the dam it is the portion of the dam so it can be provided in the throughout the body of the dam, the dam or throughout the length of the dam or it can be provided depending upon the topography depending upon the available uh, site condition that uh, analyzing that we are adopting uh, the type of and we are choosing the uh, location of the spillway so it can be provided for all the storage as well as for the detention dam uh, ordinarily this surplus water is drawn from the top of the reservoir which is created by the dam so this the surplus water that will be increased that will be uh, available from the uh, reservoir part from the upstream part that water will get carried out on the downstream section these spillways are a very important structures these are the very important this these structures has the tremendous or most major importance see many failures of the dam have been caused of a improperly designed spillway and the insufficient capacity of a spillway if you have remember in the uh, earthen dam uh, module also we have studied that because of the insufficient capacity because of the uh, uh, the improper designing of outlet uh, which are provided in the spillway because of this reason only the water get increase and because of this water level increase the overtopping section will be caused uh, uh, in the causes of failure in earthen dam uh, the first part that is a hydraulic failure in that hydraulic failure we have we have we have seen the overtopping failure so why it is uh, why it, it, it is happened so because of this because of the insufficient capacity because of the improper design of the spillway such type of a failure will occur in such type of a dam so uh, hence uh, the spillway design is the most important point in our water resource engineering too see the spillway is uh, the septic septic valve it's not it is not a value it's a valve uh, of for the dam because once you are providing this spillway this can be played as this can be treated as a septic valve once you are provided this energy will be carried out this energy will be uh, that water uh, which is carrying out uh, the kinetic energy th that energy will be dissipated properly at one section and then it will be safely discharged towards the natural resources see the sufficient capacity of the spillway is of a uh, paramount importance especially in the earthen and rock field dams because we know that the earthen and rock field dam generally made up of with the earthen material and it, it is in the compacted layer once you are giving the compaction for this earthen material and if uh, again you are uh, constructing the another structure along with this length so because of this the particle that will be compacted that will get disturbed and because of this disturbed uh, material uh, definitely you have studied all the all such a cases all such a failures so through the pores through the voids through the um, the hollowness that we, that is called so called as a piping so through this the seepage rate will be maximized and because of this the embankment the body of the earthen dam as well as the upstream slope and the downstream slope will get affected so we need to give the proper inspection proper maintenance uh, in case of uh, earthen and rock field dams where the overtopping chances may be increased then the uh, spillway must have the capacity to discharge major floods without the damage to the dam or any any structures at the same time keeping the reservoir level below the some predetermined maximum level 
so main purpose is to carry out the surplus water is to carry out the maximum uh, major flood discharge water towards the downstream section and at the same time at the same time once it will be passing over the uh, it should uh, or the reservoir capacity should uh, uh, retain at a predetermined maximum level so whatever uh, by designing the hydraulic structure that is a dam so we have designed uh, according to that ki we have uh, giving certain or um, capacity depending upon the capacity of the reservoir we have decided one maximum flood level or maximum reservoir level so uh, up to this level uh, the reservoir uh, can be collected and can be collected accumulated that much quantity of the water and uh, ab above this the free board that will be provided the margin that is the vertical space vertical margin that will be provided this uh, the purpose of the provision is that once uh, during this heavy rainfall during this uh, uh, maximum rainfall the uh, water that will be increased the surplus water that will be passing that once it will be increased that will be directly automatically passed over such a spillway structures and the uh, uh, hydraulic structures remain safe so uh, the both the time at the same time uh, the spillway plays and or uh, spillway fulfills the uh, both the purpose so uh, we need to yes definitely the that design flood discharge how much quantity and how much surplus water that will be carried out from the reservoir up to the downstream section which, are, which is uh, passed over the spillway this can be find out by doing the flood routing uh, in our syllabus we uh, uh, we don't have a such part if you are choosing the applied hydraulics uh, hydrology and flood control and if you are choosing the elective as a design of a hydraulic structure so in that part you uh, definitely you have to study this flood routing as well as uh, how you are going to check and how you are going to find out the maximum quantity of the water which is passing over the spillway so right now just uh, uh, for your general knowledge just remember that the flood routing is the method that will be used for uh, finding out the surplus water that will be carried over the spillway structure so this is about uh, uh, your spillway definition uh, or just we have seen that ki what is exact what is the main purpose of the spillway uh let's uh, talk about the location see location is that i'm just uh, i have just uh, discussed about this location mainly the when we say that it is a gravity dam so it is a rigid one so we can provide the spillway along with the length of this gravity dam means if this is your section so you can provide this structure like this one second you can provide this we are going to study about this yes this will be your overflow section and this once the water will get increased this water will get passed over this and will be safely discharged towards the natural resources so uh, you can provide in uh, in terms of or in this uh, gravity dam you can provide this along the this is the plan if this is your top width of a gravity dam this is your downstream section and this is your upstream section so you can provide uh, the spillway throughout the length or you can provide it on the sides uh, side uh, side side of the uh, gravity dam or uh, you can provide it a uh, uh, keeping some distance or based on the totally on the topography and the condition the requirement so based on this you can provide you can decide the location of the spillway but in case of in case of a earthen dam in case of earthen dam we know that this earthen dam can be made up of with the earthen material so uh, we need to check or we need to continuously give the inspection and maintenance on such a upstream and downstream slope 
as well as we need to give the inspection and the protection for this foundation of the earthen dam also so once you if you are trying to give and if you are trying to locate the spillway along the length of the uh, earthen dam so it is it is very very risky so uh, for this purpose only uh, in in this earthen dam the spillway can be uh, provided at the side side of this earthen dam or it, it cannot be and basically it is avoided and it is neglected to provide the spillway along with this length of the earthen dam so the major care, care care should be taken while uh, designing and while locating the spillway in the case of a earthen or rock fill dam so the location is just uh, you can provide along with the length of the any hydraulic structure except the earthen or a rock fill dam or you can provide the it uh, on the either side of the uh, hydraulic structure so that the water the surplus water that will be carried out safely so depending upon the uh, various uh, points uh, or based on the utility based on the uh, the that crest gates that will be provided so again the based on their uh, topography uh, just we are going to study the various types of the spillways so here just uh, we have ended up this part that is the definition of a spillway and the location of the spillway. Thanks for watching this video.